Hello. Uh, my voice hurts, so I will keep this very short and stiff. This is my Spider-Man Far From Home review. Um, I just saw the movie. Ah, I will be, I will say, I gotta redo the review on Mysterio. He's a great figure. I'm annoyed because I was more annoyed with them making him a good guy. Even making him an Avenger. Um, in the title, of course. But, didn't happen. Um, he's still a great character, and I still really like him, and, um, I love his look. Ooh, it's so nice. Um, felt that I wasn't really being fair of it. I hadn't seen the movie. I didn't know if that was going to change in any way, or if it was, or if it wasn't, whatever. But I was surprised. Now, I will say, I have no favorite actor for Spider-Man. They all are great, and they're all bad. Tom Holland is very a very clumsy Peter Parker. He lets Aunt May, Ned, MJ know who he is. They, they all know that he's Spider-Man. Yeah, <laughs> this is a little... It's a little like, oh, that never happened in any of the other movies. Of course, Tobey Maguire was the one Spider-Man who never really told anyone. Yes, his thing did get revealed sometimes, especially in the major train scene. Uh, but he was focused on more than just his who he is. He was focused on, I. Something's going on in my room. Um, but I definitely did like him. He's definitely not good because he does give away his identity, but still good. I still like Tom Holland. He's very young, and he's a nice take on Spider-Man. Now, Jay Gyllenhaal is Mysterio. I was pleasantly surprised. He was really good. Um, and he's definitely a neat character once you see him play out. Uh, I definitely appreciated him more than I originally thought I would. But uh, he, he's a good character, and he actually has a pretty good suit. I didn't like it originally. But I, I do now. Um, and I love his magic effects. Okay, they're like clouds. Ooh, that's so cool. I know it sort of turned my perspective. I'm looking at this on a more positive perspective. Then I'll get into the negative later. So, good. Tom Holland is a great actor at this. And him and Zendaya actually have a really good connection. They feel like actual boyfriend and girlfriend. Sort of like how Andrew Garfield and uh, whoever, what was her name? Emma Stone, maybe? Who played Gwen Stacy, they felt very real in terms of being actual good, like, dating. Um, and I did enjoy that. Uh, and I did enjoy Ned. He's funny. Uh, JB Smooth. I love him. Uh, great cameo from him. I really did like most of the stuff, but I won't talk about it because it's spoilers. I still want to give you, but the end credit scenes, I love them and I hate them at the same time. But you can understand why once you see it. Um, Samuel Jackson and Maria Hill. Great actors. They're great. I really did like them. Um, it's always good to see Nick Fury again. And I'm glad that he's been in these three Marvel movies for this year. That's great. Um, I did really like um, the Elementals. They were nice to have sort of like a throwback. Because those were our original characters, but of course, I kind of wish that they, like, made more references to their backstory, especially Molten Man, because I feel like he's more interesting than Hydro Man. But I'm, I'm, I still find them great. They're, they're, they're really cool. I do wish that we could see the Cyclone battle and the Sand battle, but that's yeah, alright. Um, was it worth staying for the two hours to see? I think so. There's enough stuff leading forward to it, leading forward to the other Marvel movies, that's enjoyable. Of course, I did not like how much they kind of, kind of relied on Tony Stark dying, but it makes sense. They'll probably get away from that in the next Marvel movies, um, but that will be, that will be nice. I, I kind of, I can't wait to see the next Marvel movies, the next phase, um, because, uh, with time travel, I'll talk about that next week, if you guys want. If you want me to talk about how they could bring characters back, tell me in the comments. Because I could, for about an hour. But I, I wouldn't do that, I'd do it for ten minutes. Um, now the negatives. What didn't I like? This might go into spoiler territory, but I don't like that some people know that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Um, and right now, 
just still be careful with the comment section because obviously it's a summer movie. It's not like Endgame. People are going to go see it when it opens up. This one, they're going to wait. Um, And I'm, I'm going to see this again. That means it's good. If I don't see something two times, I don't enjoy it. All right. Just getting that out of the way. Um, but I did really like... It was enjoyable. I can't say too many negatives because my negatives were sort of thrown out from my Mysterio review. Um, I will say, Marvel, Kevin Feige, if you're listening, they're probably not. Um, Tombstone could be a really cool villain to have as a Spider-Man villain, but of course you don't have to have him be the main villain. And he's no stretch a main villain. Um, I really did appreciate this movie, throwing a lot of callbacks. Uh, this wasn't partially in the trailer, I guess. And it's not too much of a spoiler. We do see that Spider-Man's bag that he has. It says BFP. Obviously, Brent Benjamin Parker. Um, and that's good. I, I really do like that. That it sort of calls back to, uh, Uncle Ben. Um, I really gotta say, my favorite character in this movie was Happy Hogan. Alright, we haven't seen him for such a long time. He is fun to come back. Um, all the characters were great. It was a really good movie. Uh, it's enjoyable. If you want to go see it again, I'd recommend it. And if you're on the fence about it, I'd say go see it anyway. It's fun. It's it's crazy. Um, but great acting from every character. There's no actor who had really bad acting that I didn't enjoy. Um, except for Brad. <laughs> um... Of course, there's a lot of unanswered questions, but, of course, they have a whole phase to talk about it. Um, and, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Rodimus. If you're asking what my grading system would be on this movie, I'd give it somewhere, in terms of Marvel movies, this is definitely in my top ten. It's a good movie. It's great. Now, if you're gonna give it in terms of all Spider-Man movies, it's somewhere in the top three. I can't say exactly where, because I'm going to watch all of the, Mar the Spider-Man movies again, and then list them. I, I will do that. Um, I'll actually do that in a video soon. But, anyway, I have been Rodimus2099. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you have a great day. I will too. Stay cool. Stay fresh. I don't know. Maybe that's a good ending. Maybe not. Uh, but I gotta admit, Mysterio, pretty badass. Anyway, go check out the movie. Watch it. Get it on DVD, get it on Blu-ray, but I will say, Blu-ray, that means it's good. Anyway, bye. This has been a big rant.